What's up, y'all? This is the next installment of my contest prep vlog, and I've got two videos for you in different lighting, which I think is kind of cool. I got this new light in my home gym garage that does two things. I think because of the coloring and the, and the softness of the light, I don't look quite as hard as you'll see in my natural light video that I sent to Birdo for my check-in this week. But because of the angle that it's at, it's kind of top-down lighting. It gives me more cuts. So uh, you'll get to see both. I'm really liking the way I'm looking. I feel like this is the most muscle I've retained and kept. And I think I have made some off-season improvements. And I've also made some improvements in my posing. So here you can see in my side relaxed, I worked on this with Jeff and we changed it from prior years so that I have my foot at a 45 degree angle, legs straight, pointed at the judges. And this creates a lot of separation between my glute and my quad, making them both look bigger. And then I'm going air down, twisted on the upper body. And it creates, I think, a nice flow to my symmetry and highlights my midsection. I'm also really liking this front relaxed. I feel like, sorry, my front lat spread. I think you can see the improvement of my delts that I've made. And I've just opened up a little bit more in this side chest, uh, and I'm really pleased with it. And I've also gotten my side uh, chest and side tricep on my other side finally up to par, uh, which you'll see in the second video. But anyway, we are six days out from the WNBF New Zealand show, and I have been running low days, uh, kind of doubling up on them, basically not having my refeed this last week. Because as you can see here, I do have some light glute striations. My hamstrings are coming in. I've got Christmas tree. I have all the big picture pieces to having stage condition, but I'm just not quite fully peeled and we need to do some more work and, and that's going to be the best thing for me. So we've just skipped refeeds and we're running low days. Um, I'm typically between 14 to 1700 calories auto regulating those. And then on uh, Thursday, I'm going to have a high day, nothing crazy. I don't need a whole lot to fill out and peak and we're going to ride something moderate on Friday and, and then on, on the show day itself. And then we're just going to keep repeating that if I keep, you know, needing to do shows. And I say needing to do shows because I have up to five planned. So as a recap, six days out from WNBF New Zealand. And then I am two weeks out from the Battle of the Bay in the, in the Bay Area where I'm going to go compete. Uh, great show by, um, by Frank Francisco Insunza. He does a great job. He's also WNBF pro. And that's probably the best show in the Bay Area. Uh, and, and in California, right up there with the uh, the Muscle Mayhem. And uh, that's an amateur-only show, so if I happen to turn pro, not saying that's even a likely possibility, but, you know, fingers crossed, I'm going to do my best at, 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 in here in New Zealand, then I won't be doing that show. Uh, here, my hamstring started cramping, and that's because I decided to prove to myself that, damn it, I am not a fragile, lethargic, uh, you know, unable to, to be an athlete during prep. So I did, on Saturday... I started my workout with deadlifts, and I said, I want to pull from the floor, I want to pull heavy, and I did three by five, one week out. Is that advised? Not necessarily, but I think I mentally needed to prove to myself that I was strong, and that I could still train hard, and that I was an athlete. So I put 170 kilos on the bar, and that last set of, of five with 170 it was up to like around a nine and a half RPE. My hamstrings were feeling it, and they, uh, they, they complained a little bit while I was posing here. I also want to talk about something very briefly that if I want to be a professional athlete, I need to be professional in my life and the way I integrate my prep into it and not let my prep affect other people. So big shout out to Kedrick Kwan. It was his 31st birthday yesterday, and he invited us all out. And specifically, uh, we went to a bouncy house <laughs> obstacle course, which I think also took a little bit of something out of my hamstrings. And that was like running through mud. But damn it, I did it. I was present and I got to spend some time uh, with him. He's, he's great, by the way. You should definitely follow him. One of the best nutritionists in the game right now doing his PhD on weight cutting for powerlifting. A friend, colleague, and student of mine. He's near the end of his PhD, but just great man. And I wanted to absolutely be there and celebrate with him for his birthday. I didn't want to let my choice to compete in this wacky sport take away from that. And I think that's what being a true professional is. So anyway, uh, as I was saying, um, this lighting is, I think, makes me look a little harder. But again, you don't see as many cuts just because it's not top down. And it gives it probably a more realistic view. And that's why I use it for my check-ins of how lean I am. And you can see, oh, you know, those light glute striations, those hamstrings are not quite as clear in this lighting. Now, some of that is because I was cramping. But anyway, um, we're pushing hard and variable number of shows, potentially doing Battle of the Bay. But then I'm definitely the week after that. So I'm three weeks out from the Washington State Natural, which is a pro-am. So I'll do that regardless. I'm currently signed up as an amateur, but I will do it as a pro uh, if I, you know, am so lucky to, to win a card. And that's a show that I haven't done since 09 
that I did with Jeff. I won the light heavies. He won his class, and then he won the overall and got his pro card there. So I'm going to stay with Jeff, and we're going to take a trip up to compete in that show. I'm really excited about it. And then another potential show, WBF Australia, which is going to be a great show, which I may or may not do. Again, it's an amateur-only show. So if I happen to uh, have a pro card, I won't be doing it. And then finally, three weeks after that, is Worlds. So I'm really excited, and I'm basically just going to run low days every single day throughout the rest of this you know, five weeks unless I have a little peek. And I'll give you guys an update after the Washington State Natural, which will either be another shot at a pro card or my pro debut. And then I'll have a three-week, a two-week break before the Australia.